This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2006 Ford F450 Crew Cab Dually. It's a 6 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. It's an XL uh, trim package. It has extremely low miles, 96,160 actual miles. It was a uh, dealer, new car dealer trade-in in Abilene, Texas. We purchased it. We bring it here. We do an inspection. My guys hand me this. Cool truck. Runs and drives great. Very low miles. What do we know about it? EGR deleted. That means the EGR valve and the EGR cooler are deleted. If you're a diesel guy, well, which you are because you're looking at this truck, um, you'll know exactly why. It's a performance thing. Um, if uh, It does have a catalytic converter. So in Arizona, we're good to go. Okay. Um, in your state, know your uh, emissions laws. If by chance you do need an EGR cooler, uh, EGR valve to pass emissions, we do do a bulletproof EGR cooler with a Ford oil cooler. Um, obviously all Rotel oil and filter and all that stuff for 2,900, which is a, I mean, which is thousands less than other people do it for. And that's just for our customers. If, uh, if, uh, you bought this truck and then you drove down the street and said, I want it done now, uh, we would charge you 4,500. Okay. This is just for our buying customers before they take possession. Okay. Um, just a service, right? Um, the winch in the back is in op. We left it in case the new owner could revive it. Uh, we didn't really attack it at all. We didn't even check for power to it. Um, the controllers in the glove box, winch is left there. Um, there's also had an interesting solid steel uh, bars that swivel on the bed. That's them right here. Okay. They're, they were, then they kind of. We're not really sure what they were. I think it's a repo. These are solid too. These are not hollow. Um, see the holes up there? All right. They go in these slots right here. All right. That hole and they lean up there. Somehow they swivel this way towards, towards us in the video on each side. I have a feeling it's some sort of repo setup, um, but I don't know. Uh, if you want them, we'll put them back in before it ships out. Um, I took them out because they're gonna make noise in the video when we go on a drive. So I don't want that. All right. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna walk around this truck. I will show you what I see. Um, obviously, it's got this big steel front bumper on it. That's definitely gonna affect the uh, performance of the airbag. So if you want the airbags to work correctly, you gotta take that off and put a factory air uh, bumper back on it. Um, tires are very high tread front and rear it looks like they just put them on um, in this video in our ads in general it's uh, not our goal to sell this truck we just present the information you decide on whether you want to buy it we're not gonna tell you it's the greatest truck in the world we're just gonna give you the information uh, starting with this here's your Carfax there's the VIN four-wheel drive 60 has an accident report actually two of them we don't see any evidence, which I'm suspecting is because it's just a monster. And if you bump into this thing, front or rear, you're probably going to lose the fight. Um, it probably <laughs> probably involved tickets. So 1010 of 2006, and the and the owner kept it. They didn't sell it, traded in. So that first guy kept it until 2009. Then he sold it with low miles. Ba -ba -bum. Everything's good. 11-2 of 19, accident involving side impact. Um, we don't see anything going on here. So I, I'd say he won that fight too. <laughs> All right. Um, obviously, it's an XL. Vinyl seats, vinyl floor. Here's the controller. There's the manual for the truck. That's the controller for the winch. Okay. Obviously, you got crank windows. Boom. It's got a toolbox here. You got little like I said, the tires are really nice rubber. You don't need to worry about tires for a little while. have a receiver hitch in the tailgate right here and a plug for lights 
They did have a backup camera on this, so he must have had something on his dash mounted because it's obviously not the radio. It's fuel. It's a big winch. Really big winch. I think this is a repo car. Anyway, somebody who wants to move a, a big truck is going to love this thing. A big trailer, I mean. They're going to like this truck a lot. All right, let me, uh, 96,172 miles are on the truck. Under the hood real quick we do six o's we've done thousands in the last 12 years we've been open uh, we know good ones we know bad ones and my guys like this truck a lot there's your ford stamp here so you know that this uh this uh fender is original by the way it looks like they took off some of those uh wind deflectors around the windows here so you might want to buy those and uh that would you wouldn't have to paint it you say buy the set of those for like 30 bucks and deal with that if you care i don't think anyone's worried about this truck and the way it looks but there's a ford stamp there here we go here's some evidence this is not an original fender there is no ford stamp there oh wait yeah i'm wrong never mind yeah there is ford stamp there never mind this is an original i'm looking for like any evidence of uh those accidents, but there's your Ford stamp right there. I just couldn't see it very well, but it's right there. So it's on the hood right there, so nothing happened up here because it's all original. Huh. No blow by at all. see going here it's not super hot it's been 110 we're going for records this week in tucson next week's supposed to be down to something more acceptable i think they said it was going to be 108 today and then like only like 100 next week which is good all right air conditioning boom 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 nice and cold boom hear me it's running pretty little hurricane issue here there's your trailer stuff let's see it says check trailer when you do that without a trailer so that works let's see radio your major credit card. buy with no interest there's your radio let's see what else there's tow on and off that's me doing that I love this part boom nice shift too Low range 4x4 is on. And you go drive. That's definitely four low. That's granny gear. And reverse. All right. Neutral. Now we're going to go up to four high. There's four high right there. Low range goes away, right? All right. Put it in drive. This is in four high. That's a little quicker. All right, and we're going reverse in four high. Boom, perfect. All right, neutral. Now we're gonna bump it up to two high. Four by four goes away. We're now in two wheel drive. All right, we're gonna go for a ride. If you come to Tucson to drive this truck home, you might wanna buy a huge fifth wheel to take home with you. Um, <coughs> but if you do, you're going to pay the following. You're going to pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7%, and 
and a $250 dock fee. By the way, this is a 450, so we got stiff suspension, especially when there's no load. And uh, this road is brutal um, for some reason with our extremely high tax rate. Uh, between state and city, we pay 8.7%. This is what our road looks like. Guess which party runs Tucson? Hey! Anyway, um, let's see. So you'll pay your state tax rate plus our city tax rate and a $250 dock fee if you come here to drive it home. If you pay by wire and uh, uh, ship out of state, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price. There'll be no taxes, no dock fee, nothing. Um, just the price of the vehicle. Once we receive full payment by wire, we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address, sign it off to you, scan it into your online file, and mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope, we mail it in. Um, you'll have the vehicle shipped to you. Um, the title will already be in your mailbox by the time the shipper shows up with the truck. You'll just take the uh, truck in the uh, title of your local motor vehicles in your state and get plates. It's very simple. If you need help with shipping, please let me know early in the transaction. I can help. Um, we can roll the price into the loan you have, or we can just roll it into the price of the vehicle because it's easier. We can give you phone numbers to call. You can do your own shipping, whatever you want to do. But let us know early if you need our help, okay? Um, deposits $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. So please make sure you get your deposit in. This is a extremely low mile 450 crew cab 4x4 that's set up for uh, all kinds of towing. Um, not not a common sight. So I have a feeling, because it's huge, and my brother doesn't like how much space these things take up, take up that it's going to be priced really, really, really low, okay? And uh, if it is, uh, you better get on it. Get your deposit in, all right? Um, last part of every video, I say the same thing every single time. We don't have salesmen, we don't have bottled water with our name on it, we don't have a lounge to hang out in all day and watch uh, videos. There's not an attendant, you know, at that lounge serving scones and lattes. They've got that at the auto mall about a half a mile east of us right now. Because we don't have all that shit, we don't have to pay for it, which means you don't have to pay for it. We don't have to add that to the uh, price of our vehicle. They also know at the auto mall that if they sell you this truck and it breaks, you're going to come in and say, fix my truck. I just paid a zillion dollars for it. A lot more than you would at Wheel Kinetics. So they're going to fix your truck. Um, or they're gonna give you your money back and sell it to somebody else. Those are their options. They add five or six hundred dollars to every deal to, for future repairs, whether they do them or not, okay? Um, we don't because we're not fixing your truck. We give you this video, we give you the car facts, we give you the ugly truth, the, uh, the um, uh, good news is obvious, the bad news we tell you. Um, we show you everything we've got so you can be the owner on day one. If that doesn't work for you, then we don't have anything for you because every single video, I say the same thing every single time. I encourage you to watch the, the end of any video for any of our vehicles. Um, like I said, this truck is huge and my brother is not a fan of taking up space. You know, he's like, we could have two cars or three cars where this thing takes up space. So somebody is going to get the benefit of his grumpiness on space taking up. Uh, he just basically gave away this truck, this big lifted dually 350 because it's so big and annoying it's got the spacers on the back wheels and now this one so I'm pretty sure somebody's gonna make a hell of a deal on a vehicle to tow their toys with or their business with whatever um, but anyway we just want to make sure you know how we operate we say this about everything out here know what you're doing um, know about your emission situation in your state if you're a Californian you're definitely gonna need uh, an EGR cooler and a, and a uh, uh, EGR valve to pass emissions. So just know that. We do know that for a fact. Um, other states, gosh, it just depends. And you're a diesel guy, you know what you're doing. All right? Anyway, uh, that's about it. Thank you for your time.